yeah, quality songs. Mm. Let's say, quality. yes. Quality over quantity. That's important. Okay. Okay, my fellow Blinks, what's up? Welcome back to another reaction video with me, like so today as you already see from the time of this video, I'm gonna react to Blackpink Ice Cream with Selena Gomez and spreading a message of confidence. It's an interview with Apple Music, I think. Spreading a message of confidence, that sounds like a really important thing, right? I mean, we all need to be confident. So yeah, I really want to hear uh, their message about this. Okay, let's begin. Hey, it's nice to meet you. How okay. are you? It's a total pleasure. Oh, look, look the them. obvious question right here is um, when did you first hatch the idea or, or find out or even consider the idea of a collaboration with Selena on this song? I oh, who's who idea? Who okay. the table in the band or how did that happen? Well, so we've been aware of her for a very long time. And, yeah. yeah, and luckily when this song came out and from our song cam, I yeah, think. Yeah, so we mm -hmm. had it for a while. Had, yeah, and we had the idea to have Selena on mm -hmm. it because mm -hmm. we obviously knew she would fit into it right away. And yeah, so it's it their idea. Too. The song Ice Cream is perfect table. for the summer that could have been, and it's not the summer that we all wanted. It's it's you know the world has been. <sighs> it's been a twenty twenty is crazy. Yeah, year, 2020, a lot of growth, yeah. and change. And my question for mm. you is, you know, what would you have have liked to have done this summer? What was the plan what um, was the before plan? everything changed? Oh, um, Def tour. Uh, definitely, I yeah, think we would, would be uh, on our world tour. Now. World tour, okay. Oh, the subtitle oh, was kind of. Yeah, and then our <laughs> it's auto generated. Off. It's auto generated subtitle, guys. So it's probably gonna make some mistakes. But they're talking about world tour, okay. That that was their plan. Do a little to, um... But because we got this pandemic situation, so they cannot do the world tour. They need to postpone it. Tour around the cities and because we never really have the time to go travel around the world. Have you uh -huh. been making music and creating, um, you know, as Blackpink in the time that we've been spending, you know, primarily in isolation around the world? Have you been able to use that time to be creative? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. We're working on a full album right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, and full? Like a couple of months now. Past eight months, I yeah. think. We eight were months in the studio. working for four albums. Get more like okay. focused into completing the album and mm -hmm. making it, you know, the best thing we could give to our fans and mm -hmm. perfecting it and everything. And so they're like, we they are so perfectionist. I love perfectionist quiz. And we're stuck at home, um, you know, not knowing what to do. Hopefully. Mm. Them up. Was it, you know, a fun experience? Were there moments when you didn't want it to end? Because I always think when you're in the studio making music and you're in such a creative space that it, it kind of gets to a point where I'm not sure I want to stop making music. Like, I just want to carry on and keep going. Mm. Like, is it yeah, like that's that, that kind of creative space. The funny thing is, we were talking to our producer the other day and mm. he was like, oh, we're like on such a roll right now mm -hmm. that we feel like even after we're almost at the final stages of um, completing the album. And oh, we're actually almost at the final stages. So they almost finished the album. You know, we should keep this. Carry on. Like, yeah, because yeah. we've been in the studio literally every day for the last two months. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. so like every single day, you know, even if we have like different schedules, we like finish our schedule and be at the studio. And he said, you know, this doesn't happen every day where we're like literally in um you know working and producing and recording mode so he was like we should actually still get together and try to see if we could create more things mm -hmm. how many songs do you yeah. think i mean in order to try to narrow it down to a full-length album if you've been in the studio every single day creating i mean how many songs do you have to choose from how I many think, songs i don't think every single day creates more songs i think it just creates more of like you know yeah, quality songs mm -hmm. let's say quality. yes quality over quantity that's important Okay. It even means taking out songs that we feel like wouldn't, you know, complete the album. Mm. Um, I don't think it's about like the number of songs. It's, I think that's like been a big thing for us too. We're not always about create, giving people like a lot of songs, whereas we try to work on like a, a few songs that you know we can complete and mm. give our best performance. Mm -hmm. within, so. That's one of the oh, things I really like. That was such a great explanation from. My angel, my ultimate best thing, eh? 
about the way that you've moved as a group is that you haven't, um, like you say, you haven't just drowned us in music. You haven't just mm. constantly released music after music yeah. after music. Every time you've come back, it's been an event and it's been a moment. Mm -hmm. We were all trained to work as a group, and until that moment comes, we're we're not gonna do it. Like if we're gonna half as do it, we're not gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. We had that in our mind from day one. We got together, so and yeah. I think it's also yeah. kind of in our personalities yeah. too. Each one of us, we don't really like putting things out when we mm -hmm. feel like it's not fully done. Great oh, points. Oh, yeah, okay. Jenny, just getting back to something. So they need to make sure that the thing is complete and totally done like it fits them and it, it looks perfect or, or it sounds perfect to them then that's when they want to release it you know they don't want to just make some average thing they want to make it perfect you know what i mean that's that's why i said they are so perfectionist you said before about um you know four people being in a group is challenging and people don't know that when they see the videos and they see the live performances and they see the interviews and all that stuff they're like wow it's just fantastic but it's hard enough to find someone, one person that you can spend the rest of your life with, let alone, you know, three, four, five, oh, yeah. you can spend 10, 20, 30 years with, if you're lucky, right, and go on that journey. It's, it, it requires real chemistry and real mm -hmm. friendship. And, you know, I, I, I'm interested to know how important that friendship is because it's one thing to inspire each other and to and to move well as a band and to know you can you can make great music. Oh, that's such a but it's great another thing to question. support one another. And and that must have been something that's been really a really good part of this experience. It's a good to question. To know each other as friends, regardless of Blackpink. We think friendship. the friendship between us is a very important aspect for our group, and we mm -hmm. try to keep that in a very naturally, you We're know, like, like without mm -hmm. love. You know, we don't have to try too hard, but it's, it always needs to be there. So we remind each other all the time that. You know, when you're going through a hard time, we have the hard time mm -hmm. with you. With you, so mm -hmm. you know, share and let yeah. it go. You know, yeah. each year share we learn go. so much about each other, yeah. and and so in that way, we get to respect each other more and give the space that they need. And when they need us, like we could kind of just look into their yeah. eyes mm -hmm. and then be like, and you know, What's wrong? Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Anyways, yeah. that's a real friendship there. You're like, don't yeah, talk to Lisa like right now. Just don't talk yeah, no. to Lisa. Just back <laughs> off. <laughs> You'll remember the funny moments and the moments, you know. Uh, yeah. I think moments. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? When Jisoo was like, I remember when you did that. And that, that'll be what you remember. Yeah. That's. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Crazy with her memories. She reminds us. But I think yeah. that those are the moments that you know, kind of help us to define separate shows. Because we did so many, like last tour, we did yeah. so many of the same shows. Like, yeah. and we almost forgot like, wait, where did this happen? Like, yeah. in which country was yeah. that, you know? Mm. And so like, I think those moments make us go, oh my God, remember yeah. in like Amsterdam this happened? Yeah. 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 You know, I think one of the most important things that Blackpink represents is the idea of, of strong um, female creativity and a oh. strong, like I said, hard edged pop presence. And, you know, there's no question about it that you really do relate to and your and your female fans relate to you and you represent and mean a lot to young to young women um, and what they were, you know, what you represent. And I, and I just wanted your thoughts on that, because I think it's really important. We continue to inspire and you are an inspiring group. And I want you wondered if you have a message on that on that level. Oh, this For is the us, I think, you know, it's very it's a very overwhelming feeling feeling to hear mm -hmm. like from our fans all around the world you know mm -hmm. saying that we inspire them we give yeah. them you know positive vibes mm -hmm. but you know it, despite the message that we give out on our lyrics i think just our fans covering our dance mm -hmm. um, performances and like dressing up mm -hmm. as us and feeling confident mm -hmm. i think you know that's the most you know just it's mm -hmm. You know, it, you don't get that anywhere. Like, you don't see people just trying to dress up like you and mm. try to dance like you and try to uh, make okay, okay, the okay. lyrics that you're saying. No. You're talking about people who cover their dance and dress like them because and cover their they songs. They love the message so much, but just mm. because they love seeing us and they like how we combine as a group. Mm. And yeah, I think we want to bring something new on the table every day and. Mm to the fans that are out there, you know, we're so, so grateful and thankful for them.
we are ready to carry on this feeling mm -hmm. till forever. So forever, I love that. Very full, thank, thankful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesus feels like just like Jenny said, um, having fans look at our confidence and then gain confidence and then go out there spreading that confidence makes yeah. us feel more motivated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. It's a beautiful relationship, isn't it? That's the chemistry because so I think Blinks and Blackpink inspire each other, you know? <laughs> days when you're feeling low, your fans come through and lift you up and then you do the same yeah. thing for them and that's this one yeah, yeah, circle, yeah. you know? Yeah, like, wonderful, nice beautiful yeah. circle. We need each other. Blinks and Blackpink, Blackpink is Blinks. Well, it's been great to finally meet you. Like I said, I've been looking forward to it. Thank you for having us. That's a pleasure. Yeah. Thanks again and be safe and stay well and we'll catch up soon. Take care. Okay, I love all the questions and I really love how our angels answer all the questions, you know. And of course, about the message of confidence and about that beautiful, wonderful circle between Blackpink and Blinks, that's really, I don't know, epic, I think. I mean, we got inspired by them, but Blackpink also got inspired by us, you know. We need each other. That's the whole thing about that beautiful circle. Okay, anyway, my fellow Blinks, that's it, Marishan, for this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.